Hi guys, welcome back for another writing video. Today I'm going to be doing a video, I cannot believe it's already come to this, but I'm going to be talking all about my second year as a screenwriting student. That's right, I've um, already gone through two years of college and I will be starting my junior year the first week of February. Um, so my semesters work a little bit differently than other schools just because I do choose to go the summers. If I didn't go to school through the summer, I would still, I'd be in my sophomore year, but I'd be a semester behind. Um, and now, basically, if you guys are in college or if you're new to this, a, a, a college year is two semesters. So my sophomore year was this past semester and the summer semester. Um, so even though I've only physically been in school for a year and a half, I have completed two school years. Because if you guys know, school years and, um, like, regular 365 day years are a little different because school years typically only go from September to June but I do it a little differently just because I'm in a program that's very accelerated and I want to try and get everything done so I can move on with my life and get out into the real world so anyway I cannot believe that I'm going to be sitting here talking about my sophomore year of school because I mean I honestly remember sitting here for my first day, my first week, my first month, my first semester, my first year, and already we're into year two, going into year three. But without further ado, I'm not going to get like any more like sappy introductions. We're going to get right into it. So getting into it, I want to say that my second year of school, I've right now gone through four semesters, two for my first, two for my second, and my my sophomore year so far or so far it's like I only have two days left but um by the time you see this video I will be done my sophomore year has without a doubt been my favorite year of school without a doubt um I'm not saying that first year was bad by any chance but it was just getting it was just new if that makes any sense it was new it was a new experience and it was something that I was getting accustomed, I was getting accustomed to living on my own, I was getting accustomed to meeting new people, I was getting accustomed to everything, and sophomore year, I mean, I was hit with a lot of curveballs in my first year, and second year has been with flying colors, best teachers, best grades, best classes, I just, like, comparing, I, I really think my first, semester, my first year of college was very, very good, but comparing it has been literally night and day, and I don't really have any complaints. But getting into that, um, I, wow, oh, just threw my hair in my face. I feel like I have accomplished so much as a writer for um, my second year of school. I feel like I've grown so much, and while I haven't really written any new novels, I feel like I've learned to do so, so, so much as a writer, and I've grown in many different ways. When I went into school, I was just writing novels. That's all I knew. That's all I could do. Now I've written, obviously, for two novels. I've written two screenplays, a comic, a, a part of a graphic novel, a spec script for a TV show, and a short film. That's unbelievable to me because when I started school, I didn't even know how to use Final Draft. I didn't know how to write something in a script form. I was like an idiot. I didn't know anything. Um... And now, writing a book is just one other thing that I've done. So, in my, I don't know if I talked about my last semester, but in my sophomore year, I took classes. I took a um, new media class, learning how to write web series. I took a comic class, learning how to write comics. I took a TV specs, learning how to write, um, basically TV specs. And I also took a um, TV specs and I took feature film too. So writing my second feature film. Those are the writing classes I took but in addition I also took things like lit and psych and biology and um, psychology and philosophy like all that other stuff you need for your bachelors. I did take that as well but um, that those were like my writing writing classes were the like all those and if you guys don't know I feel like you guys do know this but um Ghost of the Sea was my second um feature film by the time you guys are watching this it will be finished 
and so that's really cool. In one year I wrote a spec script for a TV show that was 60 pages and then I'm writing my, I'll be finished with my Ghost of the Sea script which I'm almost done with it so I don't know the exact number but I want to say it will be between 105 and 110. That's what I'm aiming for right now. If it's like 100 that'll be perfect but I always tend to go a little overboard so I'm trying to like get it to be a little lower. Anyway, I, in the second semester, second semester, in my second year, I really kind of found what works for me and what doesn't and what I like and what I don't like on and on that kind of stuff. And the more various forms of writing you take and more classes you take, you learn what you like and what you don't like. And um, I just finished writing my I, I'll be honest, I'm not a comic book person. I am not. I never read a comic book up until this. I don't enjoy Marvel movies. I'm putting myself out there. I'm being out. And I come from a family who really does. Like, my dad is the biggest Marvel fan. Both my cousins and everyone just, like, love that kind of stuff. And I'm kind of the odd one out. But I am for a lot of things. I'm just kind of like the black sheep. And, I mean, I'm totally fine with that. Because everyone in my family is very different and unique. But... So I did start taking a comic class and it was very hard for me. I'm going to be completely honest and say that was the hardest class I probably had to take so far in college. Writing is something that comes very easily to me. It is, it's, it's writing is like breathing. I have to breathe. I have to write. I never struggled. Essays, I it just is not a big deal. But comic writing, I'm gonna, it's going to probably the hardest thing I've had to do so far. Um hardest thing I've had to do so far because it doesn't come naturally to me. I don't enjoy it, meaning it's just hard to force yourself to do it and writing a 20 page comic and learning the new format felt like work to me and for the very first time writing felt like work and it was a good experience because now I know that's not for me but for the first time I didn't see the art in writing and I didn't find it enjoyable and that's never happened to me before so I'm kind of glad I got the experience so I can empathize now with people who who try writing novels and they're just like, I don't like it. That is what happened to me writing this. So it was kind of good, be, like, having, like, the shoe be on the other foot and kind of looking like, okay, this is what some people think about writing. And it was a horrible feeling, but at the same time, it was very eye-opening. And it was like, okay, this is not what I meant to do. I tried it, though, so I can say I did it. And I tried it, and I gave it my all, so now I can move on. Um... Ghost of the Sea is my second feature and it was compared, I did It's Me Daddy for my first and I can say Ghost of the Sea has definitely been 10 times harder to write than It's Me Daddy. Maybe because it's a harder content, it's very emotional and a very uncomfortable topic, but also it is very, very, very close to me. And I'm not saying It's Me Daddy is not close to me, obviously it was, but Ghost of the Sea took up a bigger part of my life and Sophia was definitely a lot closer to character to me than Lexi was. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of parts of Sophia in me when Lexi, we don't really, she's a, she's a little girl, so I, we don't really share that, but Go to the Sea has definitely been hard, and I am in that point where I beat myself up about it all the time, and I'm just that writer where I will take three hours to write four pages because I cannot agree with it, and I don't like it, and the biggest thing for me that I've learned, and I've learned from my teachers, is just write it, move on. Your first draft of anything is going to be excuse my language shit it's not going to be good and I need to learn to accept that and just move on because I'm it just because you write it you're not writing it and sending it out to the world you're writing it and you're going to go back and you're going to fix it and I need to learn to just write let go and let nature take its course work on it move on because I've had trouble finishing and I'm like almost got a little behind because I was so steadfast and I need to finish, I need to finish, I need to be perfect, I need to be perfect, and there's no such thing as a perfect anything when it comes to writing, but especially a perfect first draft. Um, I just continue to explore new things in my second year of school, and this was just like before I get into the next part, saying if you found your first year of college difficult, stressful, anything, hang in there and take it from me because my second year was so much more enjoyable than my first so just take it from me hang in there because it does get better I'm not saying I didn't like my first year because I really did but it gets better and you definitely find your groove in your second semester your second year I keep misspeaking um and as a sophomore I think you finally start to realize what you're doing and kind of where to go even just like getting around getting around the school little things it is just so much easier 
Um, one thing that's very big in my second year is I kind of find a, I found a new calling. And that's psychology. I started taking a psychology class last semester, and I never for a minute doubted that I was going to like it. Never doubted it, but I didn't realize how much I was going to love it and how much it was going to help my writing and how much I really fell in love with what I was learning. So after taking that class, and it's only a bachelor's psychology class, um, I really feel like if I do want to pursue my education further after graduation, I might want to pursue it in psychology. I might want to major in psychology for a master's. I don't know. I think it is a very special thing to understand if as a writer, you're creating humans. You're basically creating human minds. And to understand the way the human mind works is a very special gift in order to do that. And I don't think anyone can ever totally understand how the mind works and what makes people do what they do. But psychology is just studying that into that further. So I definitely want to pursue with that. And I'm very thankful I got that opportunity to look into it to find that it's something I really do love. In my second year, I had to do more and more filming, and I found that I cannot stand filming. I don't like editing. I don't like being in front of the camera, near the camera, holding the camera. If there's a camera beside this one right now, I want to be nowhere near it. I just I don't like it. It's not me. And it's another experience that I got to learn. Um, I am really sad to be ending my second semester, and right now I'm smack in the middle of finals, which is why I literally just put makeup on for this video. I've been in like messy bun and like sweats all day writing three biology essays and I still have like three more finals to go until I can sleep but I'm like d drop dead in the middle of finals and finals are just like ah. uh, um when you're a writing student and you're majoring in writing a lot of finals are just writing 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 and you need to be able to pump out 10 pages like nothing but that's just I mean that's what I'm doing if you I can do that better than I can solve five math problems um, everything else with sophomore year has been really good. Obviously there's drama. There always is stuff going on in your life. And there was a lot, there was just some stuff that happened last semester and that's all better now. And there's always people that try and bring you down. There are always people who try and like it, 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 into your life. But learning to just go like with a fly swatter and just move on and just live your life is the best way to be and the healthiest way to be and just... For me, surrounding myself with just healthy, happy, positive, open-minded people is the best thing I could have done. And yeah, like I always have stuff with family and family health problems, but just going into the new year with an open mind is really helping. And third, my th my third year, my junior year, a lot's going to change. Um, I have a big change coming up and I'm excited for you guys to see it. My life is definitely going to change in the next few months. Um like for sure and before no I'm not pregnant <laughs> I don't know why I was just saying like I don't want anyone to be like are you pregnant no I'm, I'm certainly not pregnant but it's something has to do with that because something is pregnant and I will be having a new little something and I think you guys can definitely tell what I'm talking about um so yeah my life is gonna get a lot crazier in junior year welcoming a another creature into my life um yeah I'm for my second my third year I know there's gonna be a lot more writing but that's what I'm excited for and it's just always an adventure and I'm just so blessed to have had such amazing teachers and such amazing classes and programs and I really could not have asked for a better second um, second year of college so yeah that's all for my sophomore year of school I could talk about it for hours and hours but I really don't want to go so far over with this video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be doing separate videos on my um, just like January writing update in general, general and finishing my second screenplay. But they'll look out for those. And as always, feel free to ask me anything you want to know. And um, yeah, talk to you guys next time. Bye.